Hi everybody, this is Scott with Bug. You know, I was uh, reading through a lot of articles last night and I came across one on Post Glacier Rebound that came out of National Geographic. How about that? And it's, it stated, oh, this article is from 2002. Yeah, right. And then they talk about a, a satellite that uh, is going to go up this summer. It, and that satellite went up this year, folks, not 2002. I got some stuff going on. Now, what was interesting about that article, they said that the, the Earth's waistline is bulging from post-glacier rebound. So, Richard Guy, okay, which is frustrated, I'd go over to his site and sub him. He has books on this widening Earth. Looks like our stuff just met, uh, which is big political anyway. But now you got sea patterns that are stopping over there in the Gulf. You got. The, they also blame the El Nino and El Nina, which, which they just came up with some stupid name uh, for these Pacific Coast patterns, and say they're blaming it on post glacier rebound. Uh, it's so sad. Uh, I said, "They're God, man. They are smoking mirroring you, folks." Now you had a couple boats run into each other yesterday. Now you got another oil spill, man. The solar stuff ain't messing up the GPS. The Earth herself is messing that stuff up. Okay, you're going to start seeing GPS messing up. Uh, you're going to see the shipping lanes start to close down. Uh, you're going to have rogue waves. Uh, you're you're going to see the the uh, where you had hurricanes and stuff coming in. And now with these ocean currents being messed up, man, that water's going to stay out there. It's going to cause geo problems out there in the Mid Atlantic Range. Uh, this this water's not being pushed. It, it, it's going to new directions now, uh, causing mass flooding in different areas. Uh, this is this anomaly is only getting worse, folks. Heck, you just had a hundred mile, square mile chunk of ice fall off, and man, this stuff is falling off that area up there hardcore, faster than Liggety Split. You're losing on average four Californias worth of ice now, up there in the Antarctic. That's hundreds of trillions of tons of water. This is weight, folks. Uh, the sinkholes that are developing all over the place from seismic creep, from these sewer lines busting. Okay, that's fire truck that fell in, the, fell in a sinkhole over here a couple weeks back or a month back or something. Man, this is the start of this stuff. Okay, you got sewer lines busting underneath there, and there's no pressure running through them, so they can't monitor them. Uh, uh, then you get this this heavy water coming into zones that are actually just causing major. Uh, they're going to start new faults. This is major weight. They're going to start busting all the way through down to the strata and, and spreading this stuff apart. It it has to spread apart in layers. Okay, the center of the equator is your hot geo zone for the maximum damage. So everybody in the Gulf of Mexico start moving the heck up. Follow the contractors, for Christ's sakes. Look at where the money's going. It's all going above the 40th parallel. Heck, the Queen of England's investing in Colorado, folks. The money knows. Start getting up. Get out of those places. They caused a new fault zone. Today they're doing final kill with that BP rig. Man, doesn't that name tell you something? Man, this stuff's in your face. I'll put the links in here on, on this newest article because all kinds of universities start to come forth with this stuff. And I've known about it for a long time. And these guys are lying to you. Man, this isn't guesswork, folks. Man, you're going to see sorrows and tribulations like you've never seen before. And this is scientific fact, not a bunch of hot air. Hey. And you're getting it from somebody who cares about you. Somebody who loves you. If you can, move up. If you're out of jobs and stuff, move above the 40th parallel. That's where all the work's at. Maybe we can counterbalance the weight off of Cascadia because it's tilting. Ocean sinks, coast tilts. Maybe we'll pull it back. I don't know about underneath, man. It's too late. I, I, I don't see anything. Um, what I'm seeing with people's dreams and visions that are coming and people sending me stuff saying, Scott, man, get out of California. Well, I'd love to. 
I'd love to get out of all these geo bad areas. Uh, but man, I'm not. I don't want to leave one kid behind. Not one child. Man, there's schools up the wazoo here. I mean, God's got my back. You got my work. You know, anything happens to me, man. Just, man, carry the ball. Holy smoke! Start getting educated on first aid training. Your first responders. It only gets worse from here on out. Now get that in your mind. Get the shock past you. It only gets worse from here. I love you very, very much. You're going to see wildfires from this unpredictable lightning. Now they got wildfires over in Israel. You're, you're Greece just had a couple earthquakes last night. I, mean, I just barely put that video up. But I told you two months ago that Greece is jacked. The money knows. Climate and money are going hand in hand. Micah chapter 2. I did that video a year ago on exploding volcanoes of, of Russia and Iceland. Please, this is a magma push. And, and all that radioactive crap that's coming out of Russia now with this wildfire over there by Chernobyl area, man, it's going to make that ice pack mound even faster. And those people are breathing in toxic garbage. Man, they may be plowing the road there just to bury bodies. Anyhow, information is shock resistance. Get your mind on this, man. Wrap it on it. You're going to have to make tough decisions. This isn't easy stuff, and I'm not blowing smoke up your skirt. Do what you can. Be maximum for love today. I love you very much.